We're here with Caitlin Oster from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Caitlin, congratulations. You had a long day today. Survived two matches out there uh, in the PNJ Women's Amateur Championship. We started with the round of 32 this morning. You came in as the number 11 seed. The top 10 players had a bye and didn't have to play this morning. You did. You survived that with a uh, very convincing 7-6 and six victory. You lost the first hole and won six straight and eight of the next 10 to close that match out. Uh, in pretty exciting fashion. Maybe can you tell us a little bit about that match and, and the turning point there? Um, well, after the first hole, I mean, I played the first hole well. I made a par, and then after that, I just kept trying to hit the fairway and then hit the green and two putt for par or whatever. And, um, just tried to make par every time because I know that par is a good score and would either tie or hopefully win the hole. So I just tried to stay consistent. Great, so seven and six, you, you didn't play the entire golf course this morning. You got a little rest before you went back out this afternoon. Uh, in this afternoon's match, uh, looked at, you had the first four holes and then again went on another uh, winning streak, won four of the next six to go four up, uh, kind of in control of that match. Uh, and then Kristen Strangman birdies 12, 13, and 14, all of a sudden to get it back uh, where you're just one up. And then you came back with birdies on 15 and 16 to, to close that out with a 3-2 and two victory. So a lot of exciting uh, action there at the end there. Maybe tell us a little bit about that match. Um, I would say seeing the first like 12 pin placements was definitely helpful beforehand. I knew exactly where the undulation was on the green and where to hit it and where it would kick. And so I felt like that really, really helped me this morning. I made a couple of birdies that way. Um, I hit the ball. Well, once I got up a couple, that really was the turning point and started making a couple birdies. And then um, she made a couple great birdies to come back. But I just felt really in control going into 15 because I eagled that hole a couple days ago. So I knew exactly how to play that hole. The pin was at the front again. So I knew I could probably make a birdie. And then she got in some trouble on 15. And so I was very confident with that. And then 16 had <laughs> trouble the last couple of days with that. Um, I just took a shorter club, tried to just hit it to the left side of the green, um, stay away from everything on the right, and then ended up getting a great kick to the right and 10 feet from the hole. Obviously a, a very difficult golf course out there, difficult greens like you mentioned, is it starting to uh, to really understand the golf course and, and kind of fit your eye a little more as the week goes on? Yeah, at first I was like really intimidated by the greens and stuff because I feel very confident with my putting. but. A lot of times when I look at these putts, I don't know exactly where they're going to break or how much they're going to break. But I feel like I'm starting to understand the greens a lot better, and I think that's helping. So I started making some more putts today. I think that'll give me confidence for the rest of the week. Well, congratulations, and uh, best of luck uh, tomorrow the quarterfinals uh, in the morning facing uh, the number three seed, Chessie Thomas. And uh, survive that match will be in the semifinals in the afternoon. So good yeah, luck. Thank, thank you. Thank you.